Sheriff's Department pulls him over. What do you think they're going to charge him for? What we aim to do in the criminal justice program is to kind of take kids out of the normal school process. Did he use force or fear? Give them something interesting, exciting, and fun to work on. This seems to promote and help them uh, stay in school and move forward to graduating high school first and foremost. Since my finger was on his knuckles? We teach them to respect people and to get respect back. Teaching me morals and ethics and how to just deal with myself, how to deal with everyone else, with my peers. The DA, district attorney office, they can approve those charges or they can just let them go. The department works hand in hand with the school to create our curriculum for the cadets. They teach about the constitution, criminal law, what police officers do, the jobs that we have, the education we need, and those kind of things. We teach them how to take notes and stay focused. We worked on major crimes like kidnapping and homicides. You know, all the normal stuff that a police officer would be engaged in during his or her course of duties. But I believe the penalties for kidnapping are three, five, and 12 years. We also teach them basic traffic laws and issues dealing with the Fourth Amendment, such as search and seizure and search warrants. They're very engaged with the material. We have our patrol team and a CSI team, and so we take the role as an officer. So we learn how to do a felony vehicle stop, search buildings, take lead, how to question people. You learn to get their basic information. And then there's also the CSI aspect of that. So they do all of the crime scene investigation. So they'll uh, do fingerprints, deal with a the body. They can talk to each other and you can talk to them, but only you guys can talk to us. You two in the middle gotta be closer together. Well, there's a number of team building and leadership activities that we do that engages students on how to work effectively with each other and other people. That's how you do it. If we have kids that want to become law enforcement, we'll mentor them. But our main job here as officers is to bridge that gap between the youth and law enforcement and encourage them and make sure they graduate high school first of all and go to college, trade school, or go to the military.